Hello, music makers. This is Bill McFadden from Tom True Music. And in this video, we're going to take a look at Berlin Winds Expansion C by Orchestral Tools. It consists of a solo bass flute, solo bass oboe, solo bass clarinet, and solo bassoon. So four instruments. And we'll go ahead and start with the solo bass flute and see what that sounds like. These solo instruments are designed to be very playable without using key switches. So what I have done is I have this chord progression and I'll just go ahead and improvise a melody over this chord progression as it comes by. So the solo bass flute has a low note at C3. And it goes up about two and a half octaves. A little a couple notes beyond that. But obviously the best sound would be in the lower regions. So here we go. And we'll go over the different articulations that it does have in the individual instruments. But right now, let's take a look at the next main instrument, the solo bass oboe. So it goes down to A2. So two and a half octaves. and a few extra semitones beyond that. So here we go. Next instrument we have is the bass clarinet. So it goes down to B B flat one. So it's three octaves and a few semitones beyond that. So quite a wide range. So let's see what that sounds like.
And then we have the solo bassoon. So the low note, B flat, one. Three octaves. And maybe four notes beyond that. So let's see what that sounds like. Then we have the individual articulations. First of all, let's take a quick look at what uh, the multi looks like for the bass flute. You have your articulations. So this would be your legato. Here's your sustains. Here are your staccatos. Or toddle along. And there are other articulations that you can add to it. Like here's a sustained crescendo. Here is a uh, sustained decrease or decrescendo. Actually, de decrescendo. And then you have a portato short. The mics I have loaded up are the close one. There's also a close two. It's a little difficult to see in the interface because of the dark text. A lot of libraries tend to do a dark background and it does make it difficult sometimes to see what's going on in the, because if I click there, there's your close two. So uh, the other multi we have for the bass oboe is right here, and it's very similar. You have your your uh, legato here. Here's your sustains. Staccatos. And you can get your other, here's your portato short. And then the uh, solo bass clarinet interface. There you have your legato, which we've listened to. Here's your sustains. Your staccatos. Portados, and you can bring in other articulations. So here you have a sustain crescendo. Here you have a sustain decrescendo. And here you have portato short. Whoops. And here you have Grace note. Here we go. Minus one, which means it's going down a semitone. Here's a going down a whole tone. And then for the bassoon, we have your legato. 
your sustains. Staccato. Your portato along. And then you have a few other. Here's a portato short. So notice we only have five articulations. But if we look in the solo bassoon, bassoon individual folder, which is right here, and let's go to the overall. Notice we have the five articulations right there. So we can load those. And you do get a little bit more information, like here's the legato for the uh, bassoon. If I use the mod wheel, you see, you get the visual on your volume. Um, but moving back to uh, the flute multi, or solo bassoon multi. Here's your sustains. Here's your staccatos. Portato long. Portato short. And then you can, actually there are no more articulations to add here. All five are by default included. So now in the flute folder, the individual articulations, let's take a look at those. They're mostly what we looked at. So if I go over to the, by the way, here's the, uh, here's your expansion C, you have your multi-articulations, which we looked at. Then you have your single articulations. And here you see we do have the five flute. We have five of the bass oboe. Five of the bass, actually six of the bass clarinet. And uh, five for the solo bassoon. So Here's your legato. So notice we have the display again of the dynamics. And if you notice the, it's switching between slow legato and agile legato. Then we have the solo bass sustains, individual articulation, and the solo bass flute staccato, which we looked at in the multi. And then on the oboe and the individual articulations. So there it switched to agile legato as I played faster.
And then we have the solo bass oboe sustains. And then we have the solo bass oboe. Staccato. And then the portato. As well as the portato long. And then we have the bass clarinet individual. So So here's your legato. So there you see it switching between slow and agile legato. And then we have the clarinet sustains. And notice we also can add, we can take off the vibrato in the, uh, in the individuals. There's, let's go back to the sustain. That's without, here's with. So you have more control in the individual articulations. Here's your staccato. And then uh, here we have the potato short. And then the uh, portato long. The grace notes. Now the way you do the grace notes and in the individual articulation is you just hit two notes, you press two notes together. So here's a semitone interval interval from D to E flat. Now if I go from D to E, I get a whole tone grace note. So that's the way those work, similar to the other expansion libraries for race notes of uh, Berlin woodwinds. And then we have the solo bassoon, single articulation. So there you see the slow legato, agile legato a lot. And then we have the sustains. Portado. And then the last 
last articulation, the uh, solo bassoon. So one thing we did notice in the multi is you did have the crescendo and decrescendo on some of the patches, which is not available in the individual articulations. So just be aware of that when you're using the library. So this is Bill McFadden. If you like this library, please click, or not, if you like this video, please click like. If you wish to be notified of upcoming videos, then please subscribe. So this is Bill McFadden signing off from Tone Pure Music. Thank you.